This cannot be just we're waiting for so and so. We need them there now, whoever you got. You okay. have you also have troops. This is Stunny Hoyer troops. Okay, we, so we have a Fort little bit of time Air, to make that decision. Andrews Air Force Base. All right. Other military bases. Thank you. We Thanks need Paul. active Bye. duty National Guard. How soon in the future can you have the place evacuated, pulled you know, cleaned out? Well, just pretend, just pretend for a moment it was the Pentagon or the White House or some other entity that was under siege. And let me say, you can logistically get people there as you make the plan. We're trying to figure out how we can get this job done today. We talked to Mitch about it earlier. He, uh, he's not in the room right now, but he was with us earlier uh, and said, you know, we want to expedite this and hopefully they could confine it to just one complaint, Arizona, and then we could vote and, and it would be, you know, then just move forward with the rest of the state. The overriding wish is to do it at the Capitol. What we are being told very directly is it's going to take days for the Capitol to be okay again. We've gotten a very bad report about the condition of, of the um, house floor with defecation and all that kind of thing as well. I don't think that that's hard to clean up, but I do think it is uh, more from a security standpoint of making sure that everybody is out of the building and how long will that take. I just got off with the vice president. And I got off with the vice president-elect. So I'll tell you okay. But what we left the conversation with, because he said he had the impression from Mitch that Mitch wants to get everybody back to do it there. Yes. I said that what we're getting a counterpoint that is we could take time uh, to clean up the poo poo that they're making all over the literally and figuratively in the Capitol, and that uh, it may take days to get back. Good news. 